region and all the people of Wellington. I would like to thank you all for coming here today to share this year's remembrance service. <coughs> On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918, the guns fell silent and marked the end of the Great War. Today marks the 91st anniversary of that event. This year is made all the more poignant in that the last survivor, Harry Patch, passed away. Our last link to that terrible war. We also stand here today to remember all those who made the ultimate sacrifice so that we, the future generations, could live our life in freedom and democracy. Since the Second World War, there have been only one year up to today when we as a nation have not lost a serviceman killed in action in various conflicts around the world. At 11 o'clock, with two minutes silence, we will be remem remembering all those who gave their lives in many human conflicts that enable us to enjoy freedom today. Each of this year's ceremonies is deeply rooted in the nation's history, but the act of remembrance itself has special significance today. As we stand here today, our young servicemen and service uh, women are fighting a dirty war in Afghanistan. They are displaying tremendous amount of courage and hero heroism under great duress. Whatever the reasons for us being there, we as a nation must continue to support our troops and pray for their safe return. Our losses are currently 232 and our hearts go out to all the bereaved families. We must also never forget the wounded and the maimed. We must ensure that we as a nation support them fully so they can have the best quality of life possible. The full daily media coverage make us only aware of the ever-rising toll of lives being lost. I would like to thank the Royal British Legion for all they do and will be doing to ensure Remembrance Day is kept alive in our thoughts and in those of future generations. Thank you.